Doctors and engineers statewide created a potential life-saving ventilator device, which now has FDA approval. News 19's Jacob Reynolds talked to some of those doctors about how the device could save lives. As the number of coronavirus cases continues to increase, an emergency room doctor came up with an idea to help more patients have access to ventilators. Dr. Peter Tilkmeyer explains. The device works by uh, attaching to the ventilator um, in a circuit such that it splits the two circuits out to the patient. Uh, we can adjust the ventilatory flow out to the patients um, to uh, optimize their re uh, flow of oxygen as well as the pressures at which they receive that oxygen. The device allows one ventilator to assist four patients in emergency situations. Dr. Marjorie Jenkins explains why it has emergency FDA approval. If you are out of ventilators and the issue is to not ventilate someone who needs life-saving support, then the VESPER device will allow you to share a ventilator among patients. The alternative with this disease, because of the acute respiratory failure that you have, is, a, is a, almost a certain death for that patient. Emergency room doctor Sarah Ferris, seen here, shared the idea with her husband, who is a biomechanical engineer. With friends, they printed a prototype at Clemson, who then shared it with Prisma and the USC Medical School in Greenville for more testing. Dr. Jenkins says rapid approval is usually unheard of. And they are working 24 hours a day to make this happen. You, you will never, you know, I don't think I'll, I hope never to need or see in my lifetime a 72-hour turnaround for a device approval from the FDA. Prototypes of the device have been sent to New York City, New Orleans, and one South Carolina hospital. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Dr. Jenkins says they'll need clinical data from the first few patients using the device before it can be mass produced. Companies have volunteered to print thousands of devices and send them to areas that are in need for free.